So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some real estate topics. I'm gonna go through some photos and video footage I already took. I'm gonna jump into Lightroom. I'm gonna open up my DaVinci Resolve timeline. I'm gonna attempt to screen record while I go through this footage. Um, hopefully that works okay. I've never done it before, so we'll see what happens. And then in the next few days, I have some more real estate work coming up and I'm gonna try and vlog myself while I'm on the site and go through how I actually edit the photos and how I edit the timeline. So I'm just gonna talk about it today and then I'll do like a more in-depth tutorial at a later date. So we're gonna jump into Lightroom, talk about some of these photos that I've already edited, show you and talk about the process that I use tackling a real estate job. So let's jump into it and see how it goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do is screen record. Uh, how do you screen record again? QuickTime? There's a key command. Shortcut, shortcut. Screen record shortcut. On Mac, open your Mac. On your Mac, press Shift Command 5. Shift Command, oh, there it is. Uh, entire screen, is it doing both screens? Selected window, entire screen, record entire. So I'm just gonna do the one screen. I have two screens and I'm worried it's gonna try and record both of them and I don't need, I don't need it to do both of them. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, hitting record, ha <laughs> ha, figured it out. Google's your friend, folks. All right, let's start with Lightroom. So the first thing I do when I get back from the field, from the home, is I would do a dump, take a big fat dump, and put all my footage onto a hard drive. Let me move this over here. So you can see here, um, I've got a real estate folder. This is uh, just what I've done in the last few months. I organize them by address. So if I'm looking for something, I can just easily type the address in or the date and it'll pop up right away. The one I just did the other day was 345 Cougar. 345 Cougar. And then I do a picture for this listing I did. I did photos and video. So I've got two folders. I put all the footage in there. And uh, it's nice and organized. Then I go into Lightroom, so I'll open that up. Ah, we'll make those a five as well. I got them already. <laughs> okay, here they are. So, um, I show up to the home. I say hi to the homeowners. I'm Andrew. I'm gonna take photos and video of your home today. Thanks for having me. I'm gonna start outside and work my way in. I then usually grab a camera and a lens. Um, for this stage, I really like the 24 to 70. Super versatile. I walk around the home. I'm gonna flip through some of the in images I've captured here. I try and get like a really nice establishing shot. Is this gonna work? Ah. Yes. So here's a shot of the front of the house. I try and hide neighbors' houses. Or There were some garbage cans out front. I moved those. This boat, you can see how much nicer it looks when I hide the boat. I mean, cool, they have a boat. And the basketball net too. I mean, those are things that I can't move, right? Um, so with these other angles, I hid those distractions and this is a really nice shot. Just kind of get a few different angles, left, center, right, is pretty good rule of thumb. And then I got like a nice shot. You can see how I put their hedges in the foreground. I'm trying to get creative with it. Another little artsy shot there. Um, this home did have a separate entrance to a suite, so I kind of showcased that here. Moving into the backyard, I like to show their air conditioning unit. You don't have to do this, but it seems like a nice touch. Cool shed. Here's the back of the home. I was playing around with this birdhouse. I like, I like the birdhouse. Uh, backyard, you know, pretty basic stuff. What was I doing here? Here's my settings. 24 mil, nice and wide. One two hundredth of a second. I was shooting at 7.1. Um, that just keeps everything nice and sharp. Keeping my eyes so nice and low. Keep that noise out of the photo. Okay, so now I'm in the home. When, the, when I walk into the home, 
Um, I'll do a walkthrough with the homeowners, make sure all the lights are on. I don't like ceiling fans to be spinning, so we turn off any ceiling fans. Open up blinds, let all the light in. Make sure uh, garbage cans are hidden, toilet seats are down. Just like declutter as much, a lot of the as much as possible. A lot of the time, this is already done before I get there, but it's nice to double check before I get shooting because once I start snapping around, I might miss something. So I usually just do a clean walkthrough without my camera. Make sure everything's set up the way I like. I still use my 24 to 70 when I first get into the home. Um, and I do some detailed shots, which I'm gonna show you here. So what was this? I was at 40 mils, like I'm shooting a little tighter here. I really like the decor that these homeowners had. So I was trying to showcase that. This was a cool shot of the sink. I really liked how clean the counters were. I got a nice reflection shot of their fancy sink. Appliances, highlighting appliances is great. Gas, gas range, gotta show that off. I turned the burners on. I wanted to really show that this was a gas range. Microwave, cool stuff. Uh, here's some more of their decor. So yeah, at this point I'm just walking around, hand bombing stuff, fireplace. Okay, so now I, by this time I'm gonna have my camera on a tripod and I'm using my 14 mil. This is a great lens. I think it's only like 400 bucks, super cheap, 2.8 prime. For the money, like this is a great lens. If you're gonna do any real estate or architecture stuff, I think like a 12 to 16 mil prime lens is a go-to. Um, I use this for all my wide establishing, establishing shots, trying to show off the space. Now, at this point, I'm doing an HDR, so I'm taking three photos. Um, I keep my ISO really low, so you can see I was at ISO 100, 14 mil, F8. I'm shooting at a really high aperture. I want everything to be nice and sharp. And then my shutter's pretty low. I use a timer with the camera on a tripod, a two second timer, and then I take three exposures. So my first shot would be about at negative two, and then I take a balance shot where the room is exposed properly, and then I take, take an overexposed shot where um, I'm probably at about plus two. And then I, I stack those three photos together, and you can kind of see what I've done. I pull my highlights down, shadows up. Um, Sometimes I do a mask. I didn't do any masking on this. Texture, clarity, just a touch, just to sharpen it up a little bit. Then I come down here and um, I'll do some more sharpening and I'll mask it. So just like the edges of the primary subjects are being sharpened. And like I don't need the wall and like all this other shit, right? That doesn't need to be sharpened. Just like the primary subjects of the room. And then I basically copy and paste that through all of my images. And then I go back and I do any like corrections, white balance and straightening things out. So I got two angles of the dining room, laundry room, garage, kitchen. This is a really key room of home. So I usually get a few different angles. Again, these are all three stacked HDR shots. Really like the, like the fiddle leaf fig here on the kitchen table. Really like this living room. Super high ceilings, tons of windows. This was really fun to play with. And I went to the top of the stairs and I shot down on this living room just to show how big and bright the space was. And a little office at the top of the stairs. A couple bedrooms. Bathroom. I didn't bother Photoshopping my camera out of the mirror. It's just, I don't know, lazy, I guess. Master, again, there's my camera in the mirror. I'm not too worried about it. In a rec room, front entrance. This place did have a suite in the basement, like I mentioned earlier. So I went down there and I got some shots of that as well. Pretty standard stuff. Here's some drone shots. Again, left, center, right, left, center, right, backyard. Super straightforward. So yeah, it was close to like 70 images uh, once the album was completely finished. I have a shot of every room and a bunch of nice little tight detailed shots as well. So this is what I sent to my client and he was pretty happy. Now I'm gonna open up my DaVinci Resolve timeline and I'm gonna show you how I slapped this together to make a teaser video that the agent can use to sell the home, market the home. Maybe he's 
sending it to someone who lives out of town that can't see the home physically, so we can send this video to them and give them a really good idea of the layout of the house before they drive down and check it out in person. Let's jump in and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm gonna close Lightroom now. Yeah, so every single one of those other shots was shot with the 14 mil. Da Vinci. Da Vinci. This is what, how I feel like right now. This is me. This is gonna be me one day. I'm gonna be that guy. Do you think he has all those switches memorized? That's fucking crazy. Uh, okay, so again, same thing, right? I have a specific folder in my DaVinci Resolve real estate. Again, it's organized by date and it's organized by date and address. So super easy to locate anything. I've done a couple homes. This, uh, this is all just the end of 2022. I've got, I've got it broken down into years as well. So Cougar Road, this is the same house that I just showed you. So this timeline's completed. Um, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of how I accomplished this. The first thing I do is I come over to my media bin and I, I create some bins just so I'm nice and organized. So I've got the home and then logos and music. Real estate is pretty basic when it comes to editing, so I don't have a ton of bins, but on bigger projects when you're working with tons of components, it's really nice to have all your footage. Uh, logos, sound effects, music organized into specific bins. So when you're looking for something, you can just jump in, find it right away. So I dump all my footage into here. This is, I've got it organized by hand camera and drone. And then in the other bin, I have my music and logos. Um, after that, I would come over here and I would open up the home stuff. And I shot, when I was at the home, I sh basically shot the house in order, already thinking about how I'm gonna edit this when I get back to the office. So I started outside, worked my way in, showed the whole upstairs, worked my way into the suite, and finished in the backyard. It's exact, so I shot it in the same order. I already knew how I wanted to edit it when I got back to the office. That works really well because as soon as I open up my, my master home bin, it's already in order. And I just start dragging the clips down into the timeline. So I kind of open it up. I dropped my establishing shots in. I'm gonna mute that, because at this point we wouldn't have music. So I want you to look down here on uh, this, first, this first line, this first layer. I've got my establishing shot, my next establishing shot. Then I reveal the home. I've got a couple different, again, it's the same thing. Left, center, right, left, center, right. So I've got my left, I've got my center, and then I've got my right. And then I went back to center. We went through the front door. I'm showing how nice and bright the front entrance is. It's a very welcoming front entrance. The first room you see is the dining room. And again, this I took the photos in the same order as well, right? Just having that process, it really speeds up your workflow. So then another angle of the dining room and I'm pulling myself back into the kitchen, revealing the kitchen, second angle of the kitchen. Then I show the second eating area in the kitchen. Two quick snaps of that. And this is all a little messy at this point. Um, and then I tighten it up once I find the music that I'm gonna use. So I kind of just dump everything into the timeline. And then I start trimming and speed ramping and retiming everything after. So I've got all my clips in order. Then I found the music. I'm using Epidemic Sound. I've used a whole bunch of different platforms, but Epidemic Sound is it's been really good to me. So then I found the song that I wanted to use. I dumped it in here. And then I started cutting to the beat. And, and that just really ties everything together nicely. After that, I slapped on my client's logos, did a little title effect here for the address of the home. And fucking Bob's your uncle. Uh, I was pretty much done by then. Then I do some color grading. Um, I just use uh, an S-Log LUT. It's just a standard LUT. Looks really clean. Nothing too fancy. Um, I will, I'm gonna put the finished, I'm gonna put the finished work, the finished video, the finished project. I'm gonna put the finished project at the end of this video so you can see what this looked like when I was all said and done.
But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna probably um, early next week, I'm gonna vlog myself. I'm shooting a really nice big home in Kamloops and I think it'll be a really good space for me to really show my workflow and my process on approaching a real estate gig. Um, the realtor I'm working for actually wants to be in the video as well. So I'm gonna have him mic'd up and he's gonna do some chatting and speaking about the home as we as we work through it. So hopefully you like that. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Did I miss anything? Yeah, nice, cheers.